What's up internet? This is Manish from rebellionwriter.com. Welcome to the new series of quick and short videos. I was reading your comments and saw that some of you guys are having problem in finding objects like table or views in the schema and facing error. The error reads as ORA-00942. Table or view does not exist. So what does it mean? It means what it says. The table or view you are executing your query on does not exist in your schema. For example, as you can see here, I'm trying to retrieve data from EMP table and I'm connected with the HR schema. In turn, I'm getting this error. This makes very clear that the table EMP does not exist in the HR schema. Now the question arises here that how we can solve this error. In order to solve this error, we have to first find out how many tables do we have in our schema and what are their names. We can easily get the answers to both these questions by the help of tab view which comes pre-created in sys schema. Let's see the structure of this tab view. This view has three columns which are T name, tab type and cluster ID. First two columns T name and tab type hold the names and types of the objects. The third column holds the cluster ID of the cluster object. Although this view is created into the sys schema but it can easily be used in any schema you want thanks to its public synonym which is available for all the users of the database. Now let's find out how many tables do we have in our HR schema using this tab view. But before that let me first close this script output. Okay. In order to know how many tables we have in HR schema and what are their names, we first need to connect with the HR user. As you can see, I'm already connected with it. If you want to confirm once again, you can do so just by writing show user command. So as you can see, we are connected with our database using HR schema. Next to get the names of all the tables and views you just have to write a very simple query that will be it will show you the list of all the objects like tables, views, synonyms and clusters created in the schema with which you are connected. Let's execute and see. Here we have the names and the types of all the objects of the current schema. Here you can also see that in total we have 8 objects into our HR schema. Among those 8 objects, one is a view and the rest 7 are tables. You can tweak this query according to your needs. For example, let's say you only want to see the names of all the objects which are table. Then this query will be This will show you the names of all the tables created into the schema with which you are connected. In our case, that schema is HR. Let's execute and see. Here are the names of all the seven tables of our HR schema. Now, let's say you only want to see how many objects are there into the schema. For that, you can use count function into this query like this. On execution, this query will return you the total number of objects created into the schema. Let's see. Here is the answer which is 8. You can execute any of these queries in any of the schema of the database, whether it is HR, OE, Scott or Sys. They will show you the result accordingly. Like always, I will be doing a blog on the same where I will list down all the missing details on tab view. You can find the blog on my website. I will also put the link in the description. Hope now you have understood how to deal with ORA00942 table or view does not exist error. If you enjoyed watching this video, do make sure to like and share. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.